So I think the biggest thing is just about placement of radium. Um, you know, we don't really have, this trial is not really meant to look at what is the right sequence um, or what is, you know, this drug first, that drug second, but really saying that, you know, there's not really, um, you know, uh, uh, increased uh, toxicity or increased, um, you know, uh, decline in the amount of chemotherapy that somebody may receive when they've gotten radium first. The other thing that we did was actually just characterize how radium is used in addition to it being looked at in the context of line of therapy, but how many people are getting radium as a monotherapy, how many patients are getting radium in combination with another agent, and just looking at real-world practice patterns, it seems like about 40% of patients are actually getting radium-223 in combination with an AR-targeting agent, and uh, the majority of which is uh, enzalutamide. And so, you know, um, that's not necessarily on-label use of radium, but in, in real-world practice, um, there is this, uh, you know, uh, use of the concurrent AR-targeting agents, and I think with the ERA data, it's important to stress the importance of using a bisphosphonate or bone strengthening agent when radium is used and just the risk of fragility fractures. So that's why um, the two are used together. But um, it was a good study to sort of just paint the landscape of this is how we utilize radium in the real world and um, provide some instruction to clinicians around sort of um, placement of radium for patients with metastatic CRPC.